What's up there guys, Gareth William 414 here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video, 10 facts about the Winged Dragon of Ra. On this channel I do Yu-Gi-Oh character deck duels, character deck profiles and fact videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button and share this video with a friend that's into Yu-Gi-Oh as it would really help the channel out. So the Winged Dragon of Ra is a level 10 divine attribute, divine beast and effect type. It cannot be special summoned. It requires three tributes to normal summon and cannot be normal set. This card's normal summon cannot be negated. When normal summoned, other cards and effects cannot be activated. When this card is normal summoned, you can pay life points so that you only have 100 left. This card gains attack and defense equal to the amount of life points paid. You can pay 1000 life points, then target one monster on the field, destroy that target. So with that background being done on the Winged Dragon of Ra, let's get straight into the facts. The Winged Dragon of Ra was based on the Egyptian god Ra. Ra is the ancient Egyptian sun god. He was the major deity in ancient Egyptian religion by the 5th dynasty, identified primarily with the midday sun. The Winged Dragon of Ra is the final and strongest of the Egyptian God cards. It is the key card of Marek Ishtar during the Battle City series, and is described as being so powerful that even the other two God cards combined cannot defeat it. To contain this power, an extra level of protection exists on the card, besides possessing a Millennium Item. A special text on the card, referred to as the Hieratic Text, prevents anyone who does not recite this text from using it. In the English version of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, the Hieratic Text appears to have have a different meaning. This can be seen when Marek recited the text while gaining control of Ra during his duel with My Valentine in episode 92. Great beast of the sky, please hear my cry. Transform myself from orb of light and bring me victory in hey, this fight. Envelop the deserts with your glow and cast your rage upon my foe. Unlock your powers from deep within so that together we may win. Appear in this shadow game as I call your name. Win the Dragon of Ra! Though in the English episode 221, when Atem summon Ra, he uses the chant again, but it is changed. Almighty protector of the sun and sky, I beg of thee, please heed my cry. Transform thyself from orb of light and bring me victory in this fight. I beseech thee, grace our humble game, but first I shall call out thy name, Wing Dragon of Ra! Behold the third Egyptian god! This card has a wicked god counterpart called the Wicked Avatar. It also has a sacred beast counterpart called Hamon, Lord of Striking Thunder. This card also has a weaker Xyz counterpart called Hieratic Sun Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis. Marek Ishtar stated in the Yu-Gi-Oh manga that Ra was the most powerful of the three gods, even being considered in another class between the three gods. This card closely resembles Horus the Black Flame Dragon level 8 and also somewhat resembles Kaiser Glider. Ra has the most artworks of the three Egyptian god cards in Sphere Mode, Battle Mode, Phoenix Mode and Ra's Tablet. Each of the legal god cards seems to be more focused on a certain playstyle. Obelisk is offensive, using its 4000 attack and defense combined with its targeting immunity to destroy everything and overwhelm the opponent. Slifer is defensive, using its effects to weaken and destroy summoned monsters to compensate for its fluctuating attack and defense. And Ra is more OTK based, using its effect to significantly increase its attack to enormous levels and potentially defeat the opponent that turn. Alternatively, using its destruction effect can aid in allowing for other monsters to do so. In the manga, Yugi never summoned Ra during a duel. In the anime, however, Atem summoned it during the ceremonial battle to give Yugi the challenge of facing all three Egyptian gods at once. This card's official Chinese name is Winged God Dragon of Sun God, and it doesn't contain the god's name like Obelisk and Slifers does. The attack of this monster is called God Blaze Cannon. Its ability to attack in the turn it was summoned from the graveyard, regardless of any effect or condition in play, is called Instant Attack. 
thank you so much for watching there guys. They were 10 facts about the Winged Dragon of Ra. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something really cool about this awesome god card. If you'd like to see more fact videos just like this one and you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button and share this video with a friend that's into Yu-Gi-Oh! as it would really help the channel out. And if you'd like to see me cover some facts on another monster, a character or even another card, drop me a comment in the comment section below and I'll look at getting a video done on that. But that is all from me guys, thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next video. Take care.